Hello everybody. Hello, my name's Jimmy. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this. And um, I can't, a couple of years ago, I couldn't imagine I would be doing something like this, but here I am. Um, I'm just here with this Jesus squad here to spread the good word of Jesus Christ and how he can change your life. How whatever you've been through in your life, he can help you get through it. Whether it's drug addiction, whether it's sexual abuse, whether it's the loss of your loved ones. I've been through a few things in my life. I lost my beautiful wife of 20 years last year, or 18 months ago now. I had a lot of problems with drugs in my earlier life. I watched my mum die horribly. I was searching for God in all the wrong places. I was a broken man. If you'd seen me 18 months ago, you wouldn't see this bold guy standing here. You'd see somebody who was broken and was in need of help. You can hide a lot behind a smile and that's what I was doing. But really I needed something else. And then when I was at my most broken on the floor, I started to pray and I started to really search with all of my heart. And through that brokenness and through that desire to reach something to help me through the pain I was going through, I used to wake up every day for a year I didn't want to be alive. And I was never the suicidal type, but I didn't want to be here. So I searched and I searched and I read the Bible and I prayed every day. And slowly but surely God started to work wonders in my life. He started to bring people into my life at the right place, at the right time, with the right information. Little snippets that just made me realize I was on the right path. There was a time when people would have said to me, find Jesus. I just thought, what are you talking about, find Jesus? What are you on about? I would have thought it was crazy talk. But I tell you what, brothers and sisters, when you really search, you start seeing your life change. You start seeing people coming into your life, like this wonderful man here who spends his time going around telling people about the good news. I got baptized last year. And while there's still been some difficult times, and I still like cry like a baby every day for the things that I've been through, I'm different now. I've got a different purpose in life, and it's a wonderful thing. I tell you what, guys, look around you at the world. Look around you at the world. We're in the 11th hour. The Bible talks about everything that's going on right now, from the rumors of wars, to the pestilence, through the pandemics. Everything that you are seeing in the world, seeing people getting colder in their hearts, seeing the music videos all the kids are watching full of satanic crap. Just loads and loads of crazy things happening right now. But there's protection in this world from Jesus Christ and the relationship with the Holy Spirit. You can set yourself apart from the ways of this world and walk in a different path. You don't have to be like other people. And when you really go for it and you give it your all, things start to change for you. And you start to see God work in your life. And then you're able to touch other people. I tell you what, people tell you about blind faith. I couldn't have blind faith. These crazy people having blind faith. But that's not how it works. In the last two weeks, I've met the owner of an orphanage in Uganda. And I'm going to help him to raise some money and get his message out. The week before that, God put me in touch with a lady who grew up in the Mafia. She was battered every day, battered and broken. She was used to, her dad used to be a trained killer, would hang around with the Gambizi clan, all these crazy murderous men. She's changed her life, and now she goes around spreading the word of Jesus and helping people. These things happen in your life all the time. You don't have to just be obsessed with the bread and circuses, watching the sports games, all that nonsense, just into silly music. You can have something very different. And we really are in the 11th hour now. Whether it's the threats of war that are kicking in, whether it's the next pandemic, whatever, we are in last chance saloon time. But the Bible promises us some protection through these days ahead. A protection that will look after you and your family. So as it gets darker here, you can burn brighter and you can find a purpose where you actually can do something with your life that's of value where you can touch people's hearts you can change people and help their lives and see the changes in them that it's brought to me anyway i hope some of you listen to that god bless you all if you did listen 
I hope that something that I said there might inspire someone out here. Thank you very much for your time.